Sorry about that. You're fine. So do you approve or disapprove of the way that Donald Trump is handling himself as president? Do I disapprove of what now? Can you talk a little louder? Sure. Do you approve or disapprove of the way that Donald Trump is handling his job as president? I had never really given it any thought. Hmm. Right. No. Now, now, who did you, who, who are you representing again? CNN News. Okay, then. And they told you to call me? Yes, we're calling the whole nation. Okay. Okay, to see how, okay, how do I approve of how he's handling the situation with the coronavirus? Just how he's handling his job as president in general. <laughs> I have to give a yes or no? What if I say I'm just neutral? I just don't know. That's okay. We'll go on to the next one. Do okay. you approve or disapprove of the way that he's handling the health care policy? Oh, darn. I, I really don't even know how he's handling the health care policy. I'm sorry. Um, I would say neutral once again because I don't watch news. Okay. Right. I understand. And how about the economy? Do you approve or disapprove of how he's handling that? Uh, I disapprove of how he's handling the economy. Okay. And how about the coronavirus outbreak? How he's handling the corona outbreak break. Um, do I approve? I, I don't approve. I disapprove. Okay. Okay. Now, on another topic, how would you rate the economic conditions of the country today as very good, somewhat good, somewhat poor, or very poor? Very poor. And now, thinking about a year from now, do you expect economic conditions in this country will be very good, somewhat good, somewhat poor, or very poor? Very poor. And which of the following comes closer to your view? Do you think the economic problems of the coronavirus outbreak has caused a, a temporary obstacle to economic growth and economic the, economy will soon recover or is it a permanent change in the American economy and will not recover for a long time won't recover for a long time and has the coronavirus outbreak caused any financial hardship for you or for your household yes it has and is that a severe hardship that affects your ability to maintain your current standard of living? Or is it a moderate hardship that affects you somewhat but does not jeopardize your current standard of living? It's severe. And do you think the federal government has done a good job or a poor job of preventing the spread of the novel coronavirus, sometimes referred to as COVID-19, in the U.S.? A poor job. And you have to come closer to your view about where the U.S. stands in the coronavirus outbreak. The worst is behind us, but the worst is yet to come. The worst is yet to come. And regardless of whether you approve or disapprove of Donald Trump's handling of the coronavirus outbreak so far, do you think Trump is doing everything he could be doing to fight the outbreak, or do you think he could be doing more to fight it? Um, um, what was the first question do you think that he's doing everything that he can to fight the outbreak no he, he he's not no he's not doing everything oh. okay and thinking about how the federal government is handling the shortage of personal protective equipment and medical devices used in the treatment of the coronavirus do you think the federal government should be doing more to address that shortage or do you think the federal government is doing enough as it is they're not doing enough and as you may have heard, the federal government has enacted several bills in recent weeks to assist Americans and U.S. businesses as they're dealing with the coronavirus outbreak. Based on what you know about those bills so far, do you think they do too much, too little, or the right amount to help those who have lost their jobs or wages? Too little. And how about the small businesses? Very little. Nothing. And how about for people like yourself? Nothing. And how about for large corporations? I'm not sure what they're doing for corporations. Now on another topic, I'm going to read you just a list of activities. In the past seven days, how many times have you left your house to go to work? 
None. And in the past seven days, how many times, if any, have you left your home to visit friends or family or neighbors? None. And let's see. In the past seven days, how many times, if any, have you left your home to see a doctor or seek medical treatment? None. Okay. And in the past seven days, how many times, if any, have you left your home to buy groceries or other necessities? Um, all, uh, every day. Okay. And in the past seven days, how many times, if any, have you left your home to exercise? Seven days. Okay. I mean, every day, yes. In social distancing guidelines in place nationwide and stay-at-home orders in many states are attempting to reduce interactions between people, which could lead to faster spread of the coronavirus. How well do you feel you understand what is acceptable under the guidelines put in place where you live? Very well. Good, good. And how well do you feel that people in your local community are following those guidelines? Very well, somewhat, not too well, or not at all? Um, uh, not too well. And as you may know, the federal government's social distancing guidelines are in place through April 30th. If those guidelines were lifted at that time, do you think you would feel comfortable or not comfortable returning to your regular routine? I would feel very comfortable. And overall, how prepared do you think you are to deal with the coronavirus infection? If you or someone in your family contracted the virus, would you say you feel, feel very prepared, somewhat prepared, not too prepared, or not at all prepared? Not at all prepared. And how confident? that you would be able to get necessary medical care in the next week if you contracted the coronavirus. Do you feel very confident, somewhat not too confident, or not at all confident about getting medical care for that? Not at all confident. And how confident are you that you would be able to get necessary medical care in the next week if you had a serious problem other than the coronavirus? Do you feel very confident, somewhat not too confident, or not at all confident about not getting too, medical care for that? Not too confident. And do you personally know someone who has been diagnosed with the novel coronavirus or not? No. And how likely do you think it is that you or someone in your family will contract the coronavirus? Would you say very, somewhat, not too likely, or not at all likely to happen? Not too likely. And in the last few days, would you say you have become more concerned about the threat of the coronavirus, less concerned, or has your level of concern remained about the same? It's about the same. And on another topic, are you registered to vote in your precinct or election district or not? Yes. And in politics as of today, do you consider yourself a Republican, a Democrat, or an Independent? <laughs> independent. Okay. And as of just today, would you lean more towards the Democratic Party or the Republican Party? <laughs> Neither one. Okay, that's fine. Now, how enthusiastic would you say you are about voting for president in this year's election? Extremely enthusiastic, very, somewhat, not too enthusiastic, and not at all. Not at all. Okay. And now thinking again about the presidential election which will be held this November, do you think that all voting should be conducted by mail, or do you think it's important for states to continue to offer voting in person, even if fewer people use this year? I'm by mail. It's important that we do it by mail. Okay. And now thinking ahead to the general election this November, suppose that the presidential election were being held today and you could you had to choose between Joe Biden as the Democratic Party's candidate and Donald Trump as the Republican Party's candidate. Who would you be more likely to vote for? Um, neither one of them. Okay. But I do. I have and to. I have to pick one. Well, would you say you maybe lean a little bit more toward one just as of today? I'd probably lean towards uh, Joe Biden. Okay. And now I'm going to uh, mention just a few issues. And for each one, please tell me if you think Joe Biden or Donald Trump would better handle that issue if they were elected president. First, the response to the coronavirus outbreak. Do you think Joe Biden or Donald Trump would better handle that issue if they were elected president? Joe Biden. And how about health care? Joe Biden. And how about the economy? 
Joe Biden. And how about helping the middle class? Joe Biden. Now we have just a few more questions for classification purposes. This is all strictly confidential. Are you male or female? I'm a female. And what was the last grade in school you completed? College. Oh, well, a grade, well, you know. Should I say college or? Yeah, college. Yeah. Well, uh -huh. well yeah, but did you have a degree, associate's, or no degree, bachelor's degree? Associates. Perfect. And what's your age? I'm 53. And are you Hispanic, Latino, or Spanish origin? No. And what is your race? Are you white, black, Asian, or another race? Black. And how would you describe your political views? Liberal, moderate, or conservative? Conservative. And would you say your views are very conservative or somewhat conservative? Somewhat conservative. And which of the following best describes your current situation? Employed full-time, employed part-time, retired, a homemaker, a student, unemployed but looking for work, or unemployed and not looking for work? Unemployed, not looking for work. Okay. And in general, which cable news network do you prefer to watch? HLN, formerly had not headline news, Fox News Channel, CNN, MSNBC, or something else? Uh, something else. Okay, would you like to tell me which one you to specify? Um, just YouTube news. Perfect. Just individuals reporting. Their own news. And, uh, right, I do understand. Mm -hmm. In general, which video news source do you prefer to use? We have the New York Times, CNN, BuzzFeed, Huffington Post, Yahoo News, MSNBC, Breitbart News, CBS News, Wall Street Journal, USA Today, ABC News, NBC News, Fox News, and the Washington Post. Or something else. Something else. The Yahoo News again? Or on YouTube? Yes. Perfect. And keep in mind, this is a completely confidential survey. Was your total household income before taxes for 2019 less than 50000 or 50000 or more? Less than 50000 And was it under 25000 25000 but less than 30000 30000 Under 25000 Under 25000 Perfect. And now thinking about your telephone use, is there at least one telephone inside your home that is currently working and is not a cell phone? No phones. Okay. And how many adults who live in your house or apartment are 18 years or older, including yourself? Just myself. Okay. And what is your zip code? My zip code is 35214. And I want to thank you so much for your cooperation today, ma'am. I really appreciate it. That's the end of our survey. I hope you enjoy the rest of your night. Okay, and you said you, you, you're representing who again? CNN. Okay. CNN what? News. The news channel. You know how uh, you see all like, the statistics on news channels, all those news channels? We gather oh. that information. Oh, okay. Well, thank you so much, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Okay, you too Bye. now. Bye-bye. Penny -bye. has been rather uncomfortable. <coughs> and you're now worried about how to pay for where you're supposed to stay put. As I believe I'm pretty nerve-wracking. Okay, excuse me, y'all. Okay, so, the reason why I recorded that is because <laughs> I'm in the dark, y'all. How y'all doing? Can y'all see me? Yeah, um... Y'all heard it for y'all self. So I tripped her up and I didn't necessarily give all my information. You know what I'm saying? I just gave her some random shit. I don't want her to know how much money I make. I don't know what want her to know why I stay. And I know she could find it. But that was CNN News that called me. Y'all let me know if you all have gotten a phone call from CNN News also, okay? And um, use the comment section. Give me some ideas or, or as to what you all think this is about. Is this right here just like a random survey or are you think it's something sinister behind it? I'm going to be reading the comments, okay? Thank you. Make sure you have rated the video and you have subscribed 
and click the notification bell. In order to do that, you have to kind of like click the bell and skim all the way up to the top and click the bell that has the line um, through it, okay? And I'll be back because I want to do a video a little later, but I'm not sure <coughs> because my allergies really went uh, um, bonkers today. It is April 3rd of 2020. I'm here in the south of the United States of America. And um, we had a lot of cloud coverage, you know, l little sun. But towards evening, cumulus, uh, artificial clouds just throughout the um, skies. And <coughs> we had a temperature drop just momentarily. And I'm quite sure that, you know, it's responsible. You know, the chemicals that they use is responsible for these allergies and all of these other coughs and that we're dealing with and, and a lot of, you know, sneezing and stuff like that. And we're dealing with a pandemic at this particular time called the COVID-19 virus, okay? And I need you all to be looking into the skies. Eventually, we are. it is said that we will see comets. We will see a comet, you know, shining in the night skies and everything. Somebody said that they're already able to view it in their telescopes. And so this is going to be very interesting to see where we're going to go from here. Okay, so stay tuned. I'll be back. Bye-bye.